Are you for real gonna let me do this? Yeah, for cause and effect's sake. One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 I don't wanna go to the trap zone. Ready, go. Gotcha! Hey everyone! Today we're doing a video about cause and effect. And to start it off, we're gonna show you a little example of what we're talking about using magnetiles. Ready, go! Cause and effect is where one event causes another event to happen. The cause is why it happened, and the effect is what happened. Every time one of these went down, it caused the other to be knocked down, causing a chain reaction that went all the way to this magnetiles car and made it zoom away. There's a lot of different examples like this of cause and effect, and we're gonna show you a few of them before we play a really awesome game called Mousetrap that teaches you all about cause and effect. Here are some more examples for this cause and effect. When you walk into a big spider web, you freak out a little. <laughs> You got a spider by your face. Help! When you see a black widow, you run! <laughs> when you drop an egg on a tall tower, it breaks. Are you for real gonna let me do this? Yeah, for cause and effect sake. <laughs> No, we can't have eggs for breakfast. What caused that? Uh, we dropped them on the ground. I guess we were the cause of that, huh? When you add soap and water, the effect is bubbles. And when you scream in someone's ear, <laughs> <laughs> it hurts their ears. Your day is filled with tons of examples of cause and effect. If you eat all your food, your body goes strong and healthy. If you get a good night's worth of sleep, the effect is having a better day the next day. We want to learn more about cause and effect, and that's why today we are playing with Mousetrap. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But before we play Mousetrap, we have to show you one more example of cause and effect. So the cause was Brooks is playing, and the effect is the mess. That's a perfect life example of cause and effect. You make a mess, you're gonna have to clean it up. The effect of cleaning up is a happy mom. The box is moving again. Ah, there's a whole bunch of mice inside it, that's why. And they're eating cheese right now. Open it up. Go, oh, gotta be careful there. These pieces are small. So we have four different mouse pieces, some sort of bungee jumping looking green swimming guy, dice, and a little marble. Let's get all of these cool pieces out. Set it up and start the board game. We have everything completely set up and Brooks wants to show you an example of cause and effect, mouse trap style. Ready, set, go. And if there would have been a mouse in there, it would have been trapped. 
These mice really want some cheese. In order to get it, they have to start right here and go all the way around the board. If they land on a cheese wedge, they get an extra slice of cheese. And if you land here, you can send another player all the way over to the cheesy danger zone, pull back the stop sign, and cause them to eventually be trapped inside of the cheese cage. If you send them there and they get trapped, you get one of their pieces of cheese. What happens if you land here? If you land there, you have to give up one of your pieces of cheese. Oh, that's sad. If you land on one of these, you get to steal a piece of cheese from somebody else. If you land on the mouse tunnel, you can go all the way over to the other side. Let's start this game and see who can get the cheese. The person who rolls the highest gets to go first. Roll it. Two. Oh. My turn. Four. That means I go first. I'm gonna move four times around the board. And we each get to start off with one slice of cheese. One for you and one for me. One, two, three, four. <gasps> I get to steal a piece of cheese from you. Wah, wah. All right, roll the dice, it's your turn. <gasps> Five, that's awesome, move your mouse. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> I get a cheese. Not for me though. You get a piece of cheese from the cheese pile. Okay, here I go. Ugh. Three. One, two, three. Oh, I have to put a piece of cheese back. Just one for me now. All right, Brooks. Two. One, two. Oh, you gotta put a piece of cheese back in the pile. I'm hungry for cheese. Oh, you poor thing. Five. One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 I don't wanna go to the trap zone, oh! Ah, gotcha! We reset the trap. Brooks gets to roll now. One. I'll move your player for you. One. You get my cheese because you landed there. My turn to roll. Two. One, two. Woohoo! I have a piece of cheese. Your turn. I am almost to the trap so I get to trap you. Oh, you really want to do that, don't you? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! You get another piece of cheese. I got three cheeses. Nice work. Here we go. Four. All right, little buddy, move four times. One, two, three, four. Woohoo! I get a slice of cheese. That means I have two. One, two, three, four, five. Five. No, that's good. That means you get to steal a piece of cheese from me. Yes. Oh man, you almost have six pieces of cheese. That's what you need to win. This little mouse is gonna win. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I don't have to set the trap off because Brooks didn't land on one of those. <gasps> Just one. One. You get another piece of cheese. That means you have six, that means you win. Yes! <laughs> this is a spider ad winner. I guess you want to trap me down, don't you? Yes. No, please. Thanks for watching. Bye.